Good morning. And today we are going to be talking about yesterday's most eventful budget 2024. Yes, what are my comments on it? And you know, what are the special features and the hidden ones which we need to understand? So let's start and deep dive, you know, right into it and understand how the government is actually skimming us. Okay, so let's start with that. So first of all, uh, thank you for joining. This is Jagdish Ahuja, ex-president Bangalore Stock Exchange, giving you some gyan out of 38 years of the stock market. So let's start. First, the most important thing was the capital gains. The capital gains, you know, what did happen was very, very crazy. These guys have gone up and now it's gone up by almost 25%. Short-term capital gains have shot up from 15% to 20%. This is going to affect a lot of people because trust me, very, very few people hold stocks for more than one year. And long-term has gone from 10 to 12.5%. So, you know, they just tried to say that they, like what they charge 5% more for short-term, they charge 2.5% more for long-term capital gains. But yes, for long-term capital gains, instead of the threshold being 1 lakh, it's now 1.25 lakhs. So that's the only difference what has come about it. Next, most important is, you know, the concern, the crocodile tears which were shed for all the option traders and, you know, the, the, the feeling that, oh, retail is, you know, uh, coming into the stock market, they're losing money. Yes, we all know that. As you know, the regulator also knows that the retail traders are losing money and the only way out was to keep them out. But instead of doing that and instead of increasing capital adequacy norms, etc., what happens? All they've done is they've also taken a piece of action. So, you know, just my old, you know, Hindi professor said, Behti Ganga mein nahalo. So simple, nahalo right now and the securities transaction tax, which was actually actually supposed to be a replacement for capital gain. Now it's become a permanent feature and the securities transaction tax has gone up almost to 60% from 0 .0, 0 0.0625 to 0.01%. You know, that is huge in terms of the volume. So that's going to hit people pretty bad. At the same time, the, on the options, it has gone up from 0 0.125 to 0 0.02. That's a 0 0.0 you know, 875% uh, which is higher. So, I mean, uh, that's the way it is. And, uh, you know, this is something which people, you know, gave the market, gave a thumbs down instantly. And the market corrected all the way, you know, uh, down three, 400 points before which, you know, the institutions did step in and uh, stabilize the market. But the reason the markets also stabilized was that, you know, the the long-term capital gain and short-term capital gain were not supposed to start somewhere later, but are supposed to start on the next day. So that itself, you know, your payout itself is going to be taxable, you know, at the new rates, uh, which are there, the long-term and the short-term. So there's no hurry in selling. And that was the way the government was able to contain, you know, the route which was going to happen on the markets. Well, on the personal taxation front, you know, up to 3 lakhs, it's nil, 3 to 7, you know, marginal 1, 1 lakh, half a lakh everywhere. It's, uh, you know, moved up the slabs and from 12 to 15 lakhs, it's 20% and 15 and above 30%, the same, both the last two slabs. Employee standard deduction, yes, employee standard deduction increased from 50,000 to 75,000. Some relief for the 4%, the 4 pro middle class, which is there, you know, you know paying taxes now. And all non-financial assets, this is very critical, are now going to be two years. That means your property, etc., whatever, gold, anything, any asset which you're having, some painting which is lying 100 years old is now, you know, you're not going to get the benefit of indexation. You're going to pay, you know, the higher of the two, that is the fair market value as on April 1st, 2001, or your cost of acquisition. So there goes... You know, though you're getting, uh, you know, the long-term capital gains, uh, uh, you know, has been now for uh, financial assets, uh, has been non-financial assets come down from 20% to 12.5%. This is the way it gets completely negated and compensated out. Again, a lot of Bihar, 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 a lot of Andhra, 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 Andhra. And what was that? Because, because the two coalition partners partners are, you know, from Bihar and from Andhra, 
And those guys have to get their pound of flesh, right? For being in the coalition and supporting the Modi government. So that is how you could see a lot of development, so-called East development has started. And, you know, the, a lot of these uh, funds are going this time in this budget towards these two states in particular. The best part of the budget was, yes, for women and gold as it glitters and silver as it glitters, you know, it has come down this customs duty from 10 to 6% and for platinum from 10 to 6.4%. That means gold gets cheaper now and especially when gold has already given you almost 15 to 20% stellar returns, you know, in, in this very short uh, span of time. So the other part where we, there was some news was the rural allocation for 2.66 lakh crores towards the, you know, the uh, three crore houses under the Prime Minister Avas Yojana. Women allocation has been going up. That's also great. And the new feature which has come out is the first time, you know, internships uh, which are going to be given uh, are going to be, you know, deductible from the CSR of companies. So that will help, you know, people to get acclimatized, you know, get more internships and companies also will come forward that way, replenishing and giving an opportunity for the new work, newcomers to join the task force. That's, that, that's a great point there. But other than that, you know, for 10 lakh rupees, you're just going to get 17,500 rupees rebate, so-called rebate. So that's about it. On the whole, if you ask me, the budget has not been a great one at all. There has been no, no, no great announcements. But except that, you know, the crocodile tears which have been shed for the retail investor. Now the retail investor is burdened and more burdened. And now it's like, you know, an injection which we have taken. And when you take an injection, what happens? Initially, you do feel, you know, you know the, the pain. And then after some time, it subsides. But then the pain returns the next day. You get fever, you get a swelling, etc., etc. So today, the markets just took the initial jolt, the jab, and went back. Now it remains to be seen how the other manifestation comes out. You know, whether this is going to spill over. And this can be, you know, a disincentive for people to be investing in the markets. However, the TINA factor gets in. There is no alternative to equities right now. And India is on a roll. The, the government is on a roll. And of course, since China is also crippling on one side, and US is uh, has its own share of problems still, they stabilize. India is going to be shining for some time. So guys, keep your torch on. Keep the equities on. And instead of focusing on the taxes, focus on your income. That's the better way to look at it. As they say, you know, the poor will get uh, will get subsidy, the rich will get rebate, and the middle class will get only a TV and debate. This is Jagdish Shauja signing off. Take care till next time. We shall catch up once again. If you like such videos and you like the information provided, click like, share and subscribe, and stay in touch with us and share it with people who need this information. This is... Jagdish Ahuja signing off. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye.